and we're very lucky because I hear that Joe doesn't usually give interviews and uh, we're lucky he thinks maybe this is the right audience and all of you that know us uh, are, are really looking forward to this. Now Joe Cocker started in around 68 which is eight years ago and has gone to every extreme. He's had tremendous hits, the letter, um, just you know all Delta Lady she came in through the bathroom window and just last year You Are So Beautiful and albums that have been on for a whole year in a row and uh, movies Mad Dogs and Englishmen and <laughs> he's worked with every great musician I mean I, there's probably some none that you haven't worked with or, that have been on your albums um, <laughs> And uh, we're gonna. Okay, where is that? Uh... Hi. And um, people have always wanted to work with Joe, and uh, people like Leon Russell or Jimmy Page, or uh, it's it's just because he's worked with every Nicky Hopkins, every fantastic musician in every field, and right now. He seems to be really excited about some of the musicians he's working with in the new tour and the new record. And um, first, we're going to talk about some of that stuff. Now, tell me first about the new. I just heard a tiny bit of it, and it happened. The song that I heard had the Whalers on it, and um, you recorded in Jamaica. That's right. Yeah. And studios, right? The mighty Byron Lee. Yeah. His he was on. Oh, he was on it too. He, he doesn't sing anymore. I think he just sits behind the desk. Yeah. And um, do you like to make a lot to record? Um, right. I mean, it's a bit crude in parts. You know, there's some things you can't. You know, I don't know anything about engineering, right? But I could gather from the producer and the engineer there are things you can't get. You know. So yeah, but. You, um, the thing that makes up for it is, you know, it's a very earthy sort of sound you can get out of the place. And you did all the, uh, all, most of the recording there, or some in England, or some in New York? Where did all you do? The time, anyways, uh, what you do on the next yeah. album, I'm yeah. uh, Right, the ten tracks on it, and nine of them were done in, uh, you know, the tracks anyway, were done in Jamaica, and one in Miami. And, um, you know, you've used every you know really you've always had a fantastic selection of songwriters on uh, your records which um you know songwriters did you use this time uh see, these are mostly the things, uh, songs that are sort of stuck in my mind you know i got into this stage where i couldn't remember the words or anything so most of them uh, are songs like you know i sang basically because i could remember the words and uh, there's a, there are a few, you know, different things. A guy called Bobby Charles who wrote See You Later Alligator years ago, right? A couple of his songs. And, uh, you yeah, know, I'm quite pleased with it. And Leon Russell did a song on this one? Um, no, I did one of his song for you. I think, right? oh. Yeah. And what does that sound like? Or maybe you can hum us a few bars that you want to wait till later in the program for that. I've been singing in every bar from uh, Michigan to uh, Pasadena, right? And Michigan, where's that in England? What? Oh, Michigan. Oh. And um, you and Leon um, friends now? Um, yes, yeah, I've seen him, you know, for about a year. You just like the song a lot? Sure. Because yeah. everyone's been recording it and getting the words wrong, you know. So I thought I'd listen to his version again and get the words right. And now I've been singing it with the words wrong. With the words wrong? <laughs> oh. And um, tell me about some of the people that are out there in that studio that are going to be on, um, on tour with, with you now. You have some of the, the best in the world, so. Right. Well, you know, they're really, you know, to me, I, I always dreamt them as Atlantic session camps because, you know, they're always 
and Ames at Wally, Cornell Dupree, right? And Richard T, Gordon Edwards, and Steve Gadd, and Eric Gale, right? Which is the off slant. <laughs> so it should be all right. How did you, and if these guys are going to go on a uh, how many city tour? 60 city tour. How did you get them away from They're the best session men in the whole world. How did you ever get them? They must uh, really be anxious to do it. I mean, Cornell's worked with Aretha Franklin and Richard. So, yeah, they, they know the road. And I think, you know, I think they're starting to get, feel confined, you know. It's confined in the studio all day long. It's a very hot place to be. I mean, I bet in Jamaica it was a little more livable than in most studios. Yeah, Cornell was saying that's the you know, first sort of breather is out in ages. And um, on the tour, um, and who are the girls? Well, they just decided that. Um, and they missed the Lindsay sisters, right? Marianne and Phyllis, who, you know, I've been staying with for quite a while. And uh, they just found this girl called Patty uh, Punch. And it sounds pretty fair. Uh huh. Well, did when when people like Rita Coolidge sang with you, or um, people like that, were they unknown when they first sang with you? Uh, Rita, you know, no, I think everyone knew around Memphis anyway. Mm. Do, you, do you still see any of those people? Uh, no, I haven't seen them late. Not for a long time, no. I bought a record at Christmas. I never got a chance to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, do you find, when was the last time you did a tour like this? Well, Australia, right, which was not that. How long was it? Right, six weeks? <laughs> yeah, I see. In oh. where? In in America, the Mad Dogs and Englishman tour, and that was the one that was all on film. Was the whole tour on film? What did you think of that film? The film. I, I didn't want to see it at first, you know, for ages. But um, oh yeah, that was all right. Yeah, all right. What that um? Did that do well in box office? It was a real smash in that album. <laughs> I keep, yeah, standard joke, but I keep getting letters all the time. Uh, or, you know, not letters, sort of invoices or out invoices saying, you know, deficit $1.5,000. So that means I owe them that much, you know, the MGM for having made the movie. You mean you know, some? To get 50% of the uh, gross, right? I've since been hip to the fact that you never take percentage of half gross if you know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, so I'm going on net, right. So, wait, who saw all that money? Who saw that money? Who? I don't know. I don't know if it did, but you know, it did, you know. And was it that period that launched um, Shelter Records? Is, was it all that tour that started um, Leon Russell's record company? Or... It was around that time they were kicking off, yeah. So, but you you um, have no hard feelings to them, or no, you know, they all just went on and did. I still see you know the guy who runs Shelter, you know, Penny Cordell. Right. And um, you know we get along still, and uh, you know he didn't talk to Leon anymore. <laughs> That's what the show is always like. Now tell me, um, from being like in the center of the hall, like I think right now everyone that I've spoken to is so excited about the new album and the tour. Um, you must go, for, you go through periods where the whole world uh, thinks you're the greatest thing in the world and then people sort of don't hear what's happening or you sort of don't speak to, at least interview, a lot of people don't know what, what went on in certain years. Like, do you think this is the beginning of um, the next... Com I mean, you had a number two single last year, right? So, uh, yeah. do you know what I mean? Can you, <laughs> do you... Are you really optimistic about this whole thing? 
Sure, yeah. Um, it's great, you know. You know, we did Australia. The balance changed. You know, it'll be different. You know. Can't wait. <laughs> and what about um, you've been feeling fantastic? You take good care of yourself? Not really, no. <laughs> Drinking a little beer here and there. Uh, I can't try to remember the stuff someone gave me to drink. Terrible stuff. Yeah. They're supposed to give it to asylum patients. But, um, you know, all in the, all in the boat. Uh, what was it? Really weird stuff. You know, I got molasses in it and, uh, uh, it was to counteract the effects of taking moon dust, you know, have you ever taken moon, moon dust? LSD, but not moon dust. <laughs> right. We all went through up here of <laughs> that, I think. Drains your body out of something or other. Yeah. Especially when you weigh 95 pounds like me, it's not very good for you anyway. <laughs> so, but you look real healthy. You must, um, could you ever see living in Jamaica? Could you, or could you see, what do you plan to do when the whole tour is over? Susan, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, how will we maybe go to South America, right? On tour? Yeah, I'm gonna go out What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, mumbling, I'm mumbling, sorry. We're gonna pinpoint an island that disappeared. They're sure they're not all watching this out there in the studio, all right? Yeah, they'll do. <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. That's so right. You can. Um, this is. I mean, you can. Now t do you have anything that um, that you want to tell any of the people like that are watching? Like anything that you feel that you haven't got to say, that you never said before that you want to say? Like you can really say anything on this. It's not it's censored. It's not. Yeah. You know. Sure. Right. No. I, you know. Like. Right. I'm worried about my stomach, you know. It doesn't look too bad. No. I'm always worried about it. I sound bit... So, what, three months, I should, might be able to shift a bit of it. Were you ever married or any of that? Um, no. <laughs> Never? <laughs> it must be the only person. Are you, and are you, do I figured it out from a review I was. I actually took out old volumes of Rolling Stone last night. You know, seeing I'm in the rock business, I have some of this stuff. And I said the first reviews ever written, a John, John Mendelssohn's review, wow. saying how fantastic. And um, do you, everybody disappears into the wilds. You know, everyone I meet disappears after a while. Well, that's well, what I. A lot of artistic people, you know, sort of vamoosed because of the, you know, the, the hype and stuff. They just sort of like resign to some to a quieter life, you know. But which people are you talking about? Well, like you know, um, say like the company A and M, along with right. Yeah. Different. I mean, a lot of time, all the young, you know, hot guys who were sort of into, you know, a little far ahead of the art world and stuff. So. Sort of, uh, Brass the leaves, sort of thing, or, you know what I mean? Because they just got a bit too hip for the uh, the ideal, or whatever it is. But um, you know, but that's getting a bit personal. <laughs> oh, but no, that's but. Uh, oh, oh, you're going to do all this stuff. <laughs> now, so um, so do you? And you don't have any children either, or is that enough? <laughs> no, sure, no children. Feel it. And the way I figure, see, I figured out when John Mendelssohn wrote the review, it, he said you were 24 years old, so that should make you still under 30 right now. Is that true? Me, I'm 31. Oh. I'm 32, right? It feels, do you feel like you've been through more than those years? Um, no, that seems to be right. February the 28th, is it? Is it? That's not your birthday. No, it's his day. Oh. Is it leaf year this year? No, wait. Um, do you... What do you see as the like, happiest point of your life, or is it right now? Um, sure. I enjoy my childhood, right? And I, I enjoy everything, right? 
been taxed, you know. <laughs> and which, um, are there any musicians that you haven't worked with yet that you still would, would love to work with? Yeah. Like, who? Oh. Uh, I don't want to waste your time. <laughs> oh, okay. People like, um, what about when people like Jimmy Page in the first, those albums, when they played on your albums, were those people already famous or was, was this all before any of this happened with Zeppelin or, you know? Sure, Jimmy Page, you know, I knew about him, you know, in the, up in the hills before, you know, I ever went to London, right? And uh, right, as a session cat, right, and being young, same as Albert Lee, right, you know, they were just names that everyone knew about because of, you know, it was weird for them, you know, that got, you know, that idea of being a session, going into studios, you know, and before I even sort of like rode in it, you know, must have been. Yeah. What do you think of all those people that, um, there seem to be some careers that launched out of your career, do you, you know, um, people that were pretty unknown and then got pretty famous, or even in the, in the movie. Um, I think other people got, got famous out of that too. Um, but you feel, you're friendly with everybody and, and uh, feel sort of good that that happened. You were like the catalyst for all that, right? Oh well, yeah, it was, I, you know, I went along with the idea of it and uh, it's all it's so far back. But, um, you know, it meant something, you know. We were just scours each other if it didn't, you know. So, you know, now I'm, I'm just glad to get in a small group, you know. I heard this great horn play the other night. So, you know, pick them slowly, lovely. Mm. Were you really playing in a bar in called Nick Hell's? Uh, yeah, right. You mean people actually got? <laughs> and you, you mean someone could have walked into that bar and actually seen you play? And you, you were playing too in the whole group. Well, yeah, it's sort of like a real sort of pleasant uh, feeling, you know. So right, it's, um, yeah, it's all right. It's just you know, you meet Australian disc jockeys and. Sort of, well, you know, all the cheap sort of people. Wait, it's right here in New York, though, isn't it? That place, McHale's. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it sounded like whoever walked in there was in for some kind of treat, you know. So, do you what? Um, the life on the road for you is that hard? It seems a, a hard kind of thing. Sixty, sixty dates is a lot. I mean, how do you find that on your brain, you know? I think it's hard for anyone. Not too bad. You know, it's just I've been involved with this album right, since October. And, you know, take some time off from it. But, you know, just continue. This is great, you know, to change the wheels around or whatever. Do you have certain well, cities? Yeah, just to get out there, well, you know, live. Do you think that's the most exciting thing to be on, um, on stage still, or is that still the thrilling? What's the most thrilling thing? Uh, yeah, soon know once we get going. Yeah. <laughs> in the past, has has um, being on stage up been the most thrilling part of it? Uh, yeah, really. I suppose. But I mean, the, you know, quite at home. You know, this sort of surrounding. I think I've visited Kampu. <laughs> and what's the name of the album that's going to be on A&M? Do you know the name of that or when it's going to come out? Um, yeah, Stingray. That's a nice name. How'd you get that? Just for something to say, you yeah. um, know. Is that the kind of car you ride around in? Yeah. You know what a Stingray yeah, is? Uh, that? From Catfish, right. Catfish, which seems, you know, like... 
cat piss. I don't, I don't know who could have thought of that one. So, <clears throat> stingray it is. Uh, and you know what month that'll be at? End of March. That's what that'll be at really soon. In a few weeks. Susan? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. So Joe Cocker and I are going to go in and we're going to hear a little of some of this new, you know, uh, music that's going to be all over the United States starting, you know, the 60 City Tour and uh, Cornell Dupuy and all the great musicians that he's working with. And uh, we hope that you got a little more out of what Joe Cocker's really like from this, okay? Yeah, feel Get up, oh, we didn't get, I was going to talk about Lanny's. Mm. Would, would you endorse that as the best shop to get a guitar in the world? <laughs> I wouldn't, no. No? <laughs> oh, it's a terrible thing. Uh. <laughs> is this thing, is the mic still going? No. It, it, it might, I don't know. He's just doing this for some texts. So. I almost did a commercial for a microphone. Oh. Did you? I couldn't believe what I fell for it. The back of the Fillmore East, right? Uh -huh. And this guy, he says, do you mind doing, holding this mic again, and standing against his amplifier? And, uh, yeah, I said, yeah, what's it for? I said, well, you know, you use it, you know, we'll give you, we've probably got a load of free gear or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Terrible, dangerous subject, I've decided. I got that mic, yes, it's another one using the right in Australia. The same one, is it? That's square. The black one? Yeah, the one with Rob Wolf, the special one we use on the road in Australia. I, I thought we got something else. No, it's like a long... I know that one. Like that. Studio musicians in the world and Joe Cocker. And uh, just so you can hear his voice a little, I'm going to put the uh, microphone right on him. <laughs> Is it on or off? It's on? These guys have played behind everyone. There is Aretha, Roberta. Paul Simon, plus the Philadelphia International. Here we go. Got to have a change of scene. Just every night I have a strange dream. Imprisoned by the way it could be. Left you on my own, oh, so it seems. I gotta leave before I start to scream. But someone locked the door and took the key. Feeling alright. I'm not feeling a good myself Feeling all right I'm not feeling a good myself The boy shot to me for one bit right Even now I sit and wonder why Yeah, when I think of you, I start to cry Myself must keep trying. If someone come along, to my place with a different name and a different face. Feeling alright, 
and I feel good myself. Oh, I know you feel it. All around, I feel too good myself. Don't get to lost and all I say But at the time you know I felt that way But that was then and now you know Yesterday I can't get straight I guess I'm in a state Lord! I know it's feeling alright I'm not feeling good myself. I'm feeling alright. I'm not feeling good myself. Okay. Oh, all right, let me say thank you once more. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Joe Tiger. Yeah. It was really exciting, and I think it's going to be a really fantastic tour and record. Okay, good night. Bye. <laughs> Oh, it's dark. 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 Oh, it's dark.